when Greg and I sat down, we would, we would just go, okay, well, what's the best way to tell the story? Um, funnily enough, the ads do seem to work in 60s and 30s too, just because we got that nice voice running through them. But, um, but the longer format is nicer, and I suppose it does work with the brand belief of take your time. So, so it's just kind of a happy marriage. But no, we didn't set out to, to do them like that. I think with Boxer we had only just launched our, our digital platform, so we almost launched our Facebook platform with Boxer. There, there was kind of no Amstel presence, well local Amstel presence on the net before that. So we were trying to just build up to critical mass. When we launched The Chef we already had 100,000 fans. So, so we already had a much better digital base to talk to, but then also I think uh, we've got a certain approach in this agency where our digital department sits in our creative department and they're not a separate profit and loss bunch. So every learning we get like is filtered into the creatives and becomes a, so the guys that come up with the ideas also come up with how do we leverage those ideas and I, I think we've leveraged it better uh, to be honest. So no, I don't think it's just because it's a, a better story. I think I think people are split. Uh, I know people who like Boxer more than Chef and Chef more than Boxer. And I don't think Chef, I think Chef is probably an easier story for most people to identify with, but we've also seeded it better and we've, our digital strategy has been better on it. And most of those views are in South Africa, which is amazing. So I think. I think that long format ad now has 200,000 views and about 190 of them are, are in South Africa, which is amazing. I mean, Greg's one of those few people and those few creatives in the world that, that has very clear and clean thinking and then, and then knows how to communicate that to other people. So when Greg comes up with an idea for an ad, it's usually a fully formed idea, which which for a creative director is fantastic because most of the time you're dealing with babies in a studio and you're trying to help them form those ideas. So I mean, I, I, I love working with Greg and, and, and I love Greg's team. I, I, like, I think Paul is phenomenal and I think Velocity are a really strong production house. So yes, we're very collaborative. I mean, even funnily enough, I was chatting to him now, we were shooting another job for business day and, um, and I was even chatting to him about actually conceptualizing the third in the series with them. Um, because I think he has so much to offer when it comes to storytelling. I really love him. He, he's, a, he's an amazing client. He trusts us and he listens to us. And, and when, and when he, he, he does criticize, it, it really adds value. You know, he's, he's a client you can trust because you can believe in him. He's a, he's a very clean thinker. And then, to be honest, the client above him, Gavin Krensky, who's the marketing director of Brand House, is, I mean, he's probably, he's probably one of the best marketers I've worked with. So, like, it's hard for an agency to admit, but often on our first edits, you get so close to the work, it's difficult to, um, it's difficult to sometimes keep the, the work clean and, the, and, the, and the, the, that golden thread running through the work. And, um, and, and I've had Gavin on both ads come in and go, guys, you've lost it on this. This is where you need to go. And, and when we all step back, Greg and myself and everyone and look at it, he always makes such solid calls and the work gets so much better. The storytelling gets so much better when he leaves the room and we go, okay, with those principles in mind, let's try again. And that's so rare. I mean, most of the time you've got clients that are just pecking you to death. They've got bad ideas that, um, you know, the ideas add no value, but, um, but, but with Brand House, we're really lucky. And with Gavin and Deirdre, um, and, and, and actually the young lady that ran this project, Lizzie, who sits just under Deirdre, um, we've got a phenomenal team of people and, and we've got an amazing trust um, in that team, which really, really helps.